Okay, so we have looked at uh, the acidic buffer solution. Now we're going to look at the basic buffer solution. So I have my NH3 and ammonia and NH4Cl which is my ammonium chloride. So since this is a basic one, so this is my, this is my weak base. Weak base, oops, uh, this one is my strong conjugate acid. Okay, so first what I'm going to do, I'm going to do the equation. So NH3 ni, okay, this what I will react it with water. So what would happen? So since it is, so I'm just going to write down, oops. So this is a base. So base, dia akan accept hydrogen. Accept H plus. So this is your acid, which will donate. So when it accept H, uh, H plus and H4 plus equals plus your acid once once see that it has donated one of the h plus so they can jadi what we have left is o h minus equals okay and then that is for your weak base now we're going to do your strong acid dissociation so nh4 cl will fully dissociate since it's a strong conjugate acid nh4 plus equals plus cl minus equals okay so this is your equation okay so lepas ni kita pula tengok for this basic buffer what would happen if they add ataupun remove at h plus ataupun at oh minus okay so let me copy paste dulu okay so let's look at a when a small amount of strong acid is added Okay, again, what I'm going to write down. So, maknanya, strong acid. So, it means that we're going to add H+. plus. So, when we're going to add acid, H+, plus, okay, apa yang dia tak nak. So, it will not react with acid. Tak nak dengan yang same charge. Okay, lepas tu dia tak nak stable ion dia. Tapi, dia nak dengan... When it's acid, then I react dengan base. Preferably, okay, you would prefer the high concentration. Okay, so, so again, okay, kat sini kita bagi tahu the NH4, which is a strong conjugate acid, will fully dissociate. So, lagi pun, it's an acid. NH4Cl ni is an acid. So, H plus takkan react dengan acid. So, I'm just gonna cancel out NH4Cl. Okay, and then, dia tahu dekat sini apa lagi. Okay, so NH4 ion are having the same charge as the strong acid added. So, kita uh, nak cancel mana lagi? Kita, sebab, kenapa kita nak cancelkan ni? We want to know which um H plus ni akan react dengan which species yang ada ni. Okay, so kita kata tak nak react dengan strong acid juga. So, tak nak strong acid. Uh, NH4, eh, acid tak nak dengan NH4 plus. So, I have two NH4 plus. Ni mis tak nak, ni mis tak nak. Okay, so no reaction from both. Okay, apa lagi? So, what I have here is my base. I have my water. I have my Cl minus. Okay, so kalau dengan water ni, dia tak nak react lah. Um, dia nak react uh, water ni, it will not react. Sebab lagi pun sikit sahaja kan. We're going to use it for the dissociation of our base sahaja. So, ni pun ni tak nak. Situ pun tak nak lah. Okay, so what I have here is OH- minus and H3 dengan Cl-. minus. Okay, Cl- minus dia tak nak because it's a stable ion ataupun stable cation. So, no reaction as well. No reaction. So, I'm going to cancel out. My Cl minus. Okay, now what we have left is OH minus dengan NH3. Both is N actually, both is base. Tapi, okay. I'm just gonna write down here. NH3 ni adalah weak base. So, dia akan jadi, which is partially dissociate. Partial dissociation lah. Okay, so bila dia partial dissociation, so actually the concentration ni is high. Concentration of OH- minus ni is considered low. Okay, sebab it is partial dissociation. So, walaupun sebenarnya sini nampak 1 to 1 ratio, but actually it is not. How to know the concentration, memang kita kena kira yang ice table tu lah. So, sebenarnya most of 
NH3 ni masih lagi uh, is present in NH3 form. Okay, so dekat sini. I'm just going to wrap kan only NH3 and OH. So, maknanya kita edit, kita buat NH3 ni sekejap. Okay, only NH3. No, only NH3 will react the, with the strong acid added. So, NH3 ni, our NH3 will react with, um, apa ni nama dia? NH3 ni akan react dengan H+. Plus. So, NH3, NH3 equals, akan react dengan, oops, akan react dengan H plus added. H plus, so what we'll have is actually, akan dapat NH4 plus equals. Okay, so, what would happen when the all the H, H plus akan react dengan NH3, so akan form NH4. So, what would happen? Concentration NH3 akan berkurang. Concentration NH4 akan bertambah. NH3 is your acid. Eh, sorry, sorry. NH3 is your base. This is your base. This is actually your acid. So, bila acid ada, again, bila kita buat ini ya. 1 until 14. 7 tengah-tengah ni, 1, 7 ni adalah acid. 7, 14 ni adalah base. So, bila uh, asid bertambah, sepatutnya pH dia akan lagi kurang lah sebab asid adalah pH 1 till 7. So, here kita akan tulis pH will slightly decrease. Okay. So, that is for your, uh, for the reaction of your basic buffer with strong acid. Okay, now let's look. For, uh, for the case is uh, when the small amount of strong base is added. Again, miss copy paste sahaja tadi. Okay, yang my equation ni kan. Okay, so. Okay. So, uh, miss just buat kat tepi ni. So, maknanya we're going to add OH minus. So, kalau kita add OH minus, dia tak nak react dengan base. Tak nak react dengan same charge. Okay. So, dia tak nak react lagi dengan stable ion. Okay, apa dia nak react? Dia react dengan asid yang high concentration. Okay, so again, uh, so kenapa mesti buat macam ni? Sebab nak kata OH- ni akan react with one of the species. Okay, tapi yang mana kita akan pilih? So, yang ni lah mesti buat shortcut eh. Macam apa yang dia pilih, apa yang dia tak nak. Okay, again, first kita akan mention pasal strong conjugate acid ni will fully dissociate. Tadi kita guna kalau apa tah? Purple eh. Sekarang ni kita guna pink pula. Will be fully dissociated. Hence, it is no more present. So, when it is not present, so we're going to cancel out from our choices. Okay. And then, apa lagi kita ada? So, kalau OH- dia tak nak lagi same charge. Same charge dia tak nak. So, sebab ni ya. Cl- and OH are having the same charge. So, no reaction jugalah. No reaction. So, no reaction. Cancelkan OH- dengan Cl-. Okay. So, apa lagi yang we, what we have here is NH4 plus both side. Uh, for uh, both and then we have NH3 equals. So, NH3 is actually your base. So, base takkan react dengan base. Okay. So, kita pun. So, no reaction here. No reaction. And then, kita akan cancel out. Okay. Oh, pop, pop. Okay, water pun tak akan react because it's only used for the dissociation of weak base. Okay, so what we have here is actually ada both NH4. Okay, tapi dekat sini sebenarnya NH4 yang mana-mana tak kisah because later when we do the calculation, baru kita nampak lah yang high concentration. So, kita nak acid yang high concentration lah. Okay, but actually sebenarnya satu bila kamu nampak nanti calculation yang concentration yang high tu akan lagi tinggi. Eh, Yang ini akan nampaklah concentration tinggi. This is a lower one. Okay, tapi sebenarnya, this will be the high concentration. Why? Sebab dia fully dissociate. So, bila dia fully dissociate, so high concentration. Tapi yang ini akan jadi low concentration sebab NH3 is partially dissociated. We acid kan? Nah, so, that's why. Okay, tapi dekat sini, we know what would happen adalah NH4 plus will react with OH minus. NH4 ni adalah your acid lah. 
So, NH4 plus equals plus dengan. Okay, apa yang kita akan tambah? OH minus equals. So, apa akan jadi? Mm -mm -mm -mm. Okay. NH4. Oh. Okay, so NH4 ni is actually a an acid. So, an acid. Kita buat kecil cinok ni. Asid ni, dia apa akan dia akan buat? Dia akan donate H+. Okay, so asid bila donate H+, dia akan jadi NH3 equals. So, maknanya OH ni yang akan jadi base which will accept the H+, akan dapatlah plus H2O liquid. Okay, so right now what will happen? The concentration of NH3 akan increase because... NH4 will react dengan the OH- added. Okay, so NH4 akan decrease. Okay, so maknanya NH3 is actually your, this is your base, this is your acid. So maknanya kita add base lah. Okay, so lagi sekali. Okay, so we have one until. And until 14. So ada 7 tengah-tengah ni. Yang lower ni adalah your acid. This one will be your base. So, maknanya sekarang ni, the concentration of base increase. So, kalau base increase, sepatutnya pH dia akan slightly, will be slightly increase. Okay, so that is only, that is the explanation. But how to calculate it, which we'll, we will learn, is actually, yeah, inilah formula dia. POH is equal to negative log KB. Plus log salt, concentration of salt divided by concentration of weak base. Okay, sometimes dia bagi KB ni, dia minta kalau once kita dah cari POH, sebenarnya kita boleh cari pH of the weak base, uh, of the basic buffer by using pH plus POH equal to 14. Okay, so that is actually, um, that is buffer. So, <laughs> buffering semua orang eh. Okay, but then, kalau explanation ni tak banyak minta lah. It's just that, first, what, for the buffer, you have to write down the equation of your, uh, what is actually in the solution. Okay, so, apa ada dalam solution kita ni? Okay, so, yang itu first, kalau kita nak belajar yang buffer ni lah. Okay, so, dalam solution kita tu, okay, lepas tu, selalunya untuk buffer, kita mesti ada add something with strong acid. Uh, ada strong acid, strong base pun add. Okay, So, apa yang Miss buat dekat sini yang formula yang Miss pangkah-pangkah ni, it does not mean that dalam dalam solution tu tak ada pun um, the species. Actually, all the species is there, tapi Miss pangkah-pangkah semua ni, just to show you yang H plus ni react dengan yang mana satu. Which one is the choices? All of this sebenarnya dalam solution tu ada. It's just that yang ini Miss buat untuk bagi tahu dia akan react yang mana. Sebab, besides you have to know this part, the equation ni, uh, equation bawah ni pun kamu kena tahu. Ha, this is the the important bits. Sebenarnya banyak important bits. Ha, yang ini yang kamu kena tahulah. Yang explanation yang dot 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 ni. Semua ni is not. It's an actually an extra one. But, supaya kita kenalkan lah. I'm going to introduce you what is actually. How does the buffer work. Macam mana dia nak pilih. Okay so that's the end of your buffer. Next what we're going to do is we're going to do the calculation of buffer.